Welcome to the Launchpad. My name is Zachary Aubert, and today I'm joined by Jeremy Parsons for our countdown to launch coverage of Artemis 1. Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, to get started, can you tell us a little bit about how you're involved in the Artemis program and how you actually got to be in this position that you're in? So my name is Jeremy Parsons. I'm the deputy of Exploration Ground Systems here at Kennedy Space Center. Complicated way of saying we're the ones responsible for putting the rocket together and launching it and then ultimately recovering it. So, uh, so I, I found myself here, right? So a number of years ago, I came out and I saw a shuttle launch and it went off, off pad A right over a full moon. And uh, you see this plume turn about a thousand different colors, sound wave coming to you. I said, I want to be a part of that. I want to go. I want to go send humans to the moon. So I, I changed my degree to engineering, and I've been working out here ever since in different capacities. That's so awesome! And here we are, getting ready to roll out a rocket that will go for a test flight. And next time we see another SLS roll out of this building, we'll be doing exactly that, sending people back to the moon. Could you share a little bit more about your position as deputy program manager, and maybe some of the highlights of the projects that you've been involved in? Yeah. So um, my role as deputy manager is, you know, we're responsible for for I mean, really this entire soup to nuts sort of piece. Everything comes together here. We, uh, we outfitted all the facilities. We built everything in the infrastructure and ultimately our team is gonna be the one to go launch it. So for, for me, I've been a part uh, since all of the hardware has arrived here. Um, I was part of building what's called the mobile launcher, which you're gonna see in just a, just a few hours when it rolls out and, and all those different parts. And so I've done project management and all those kinds of pieces. Um, for us, kind of what, what today represents is the culmination of over a decade of work. And, uh, and it's a big step forward in our exploration capabilities as a nation. You're absolutely right. As we look to this new era of space exploration, there's now also a new generation of young people looking to their future and a future where humanity lives and works not only in space, but on the moon and maybe even eventually Mars. What advice or encouragement would you give to them uh, as they look towards this future and make plans on what their life will be? Yeah, so so I have two daughters. I got an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old. And, and I, I'm gonna get them out here today to see it because I want them to be able to look up, see something the size of the Statue of Liberty rolling out on this mobile launcher out to the out to the pad and ultimately you know we're going to launch here before too long and i want them to understand what we are capable of as a people um, you know my path was engineering but we need all sorts of people here we have communications it you know lawyers i mean any anything and so if this is something that you believe in uh, that you want to be a part of you know we absolutely need the best and the brightest and if you enjoyed today's interview, make sure you engage that like button. Let us know what you thought down in the comments. I'll be speaking with more of the Artemis team, so make sure you keep an eye out for those interviews. And subscribe and join us back here on launch day for exclusive launch pad coverage from the NASA Kennedy Space Center press site as we count down to the historic first launch of the Space Launch System and NASA's return mission to the moon. Here at the Launchpad, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. My name's Zach. We'll see you next time.